Hey guys, <coughs> excuse me, this is Reggie from ReginaldJennings.com. Today we're going to be talking about the BSO Convert X to DVD application. Right now I'm using the latest application, version 4. Just want to give you a, a quick background of how I found this application. Um, long story short, my in laws had purchased um, my wife and I a video camera. They mentioned that they were no longer able to find um, the basic video cameras with. Um, tape or DVD export so that when we're done we can actually easily plug it into our DVD player or our, our v, VCR player and watch the actual video um, so pretty much what ha what happens is my wife has been accumulating all of these videos on her our camcorder and she now wants to um, you know review those videos and of course Disperse, her, disperse them to our loved ones and she just wanted to find an easy way to do it and so after searching the web and testing several projects um, or products I stumbled on to convert X to DVD um, so without further ado let's open up the application and let's just talk about some of the basic functions Once Cover X opens up successfully, it will go through its, its basic, um, you know, power on self test. Rather, just to you know make sure that it's up to date with the latest package, um, is able to actually load certain templates, um, and, and you know just make sure that there's some available DVD drives available with disk in them. Um, pretty much all in this log section down here is where you will find that information. Above here, this is your workspace. Once you actually add a media file, you will now have the ability to adjust and change and customize some of the items um, that are currently available for your video. Um, this is your actual add button. This is where you can add videos to this project or you can go to the file menu and click add. Underneath the action sections, during the conversion phase, you have actions to be able to, um, of course, convert your current project, pause your current conversion, you know, change the priority. Um, I like this particular function, so if I needed something converted quick, if my machine has available resources, um, I can adjust the actual settings and, you know, the conversion will run a little faster and get completed a little faster. Um, I have you know different options as well from shutting the machine down to already you know burn an already converted project. Underneath the settings section, this is your full kitchen sink um, for you know some additional options that you have from the project area once you import your video into the actual um, application. And then of course you have your standard window section where. In this case, I have the video preview disabled, but if you wanted to see your video while it's being converted, you can click this here, and you actually get this pane that actually has um, your video running while it's converting. And then, of course, you have your help menu that um, brings you to their, their online um, forms page where you can interact with other users and, of course, discuss you know anything from you know basic use to troubleshooting to you know doing some advanced options once you add your video you can actually expand these op these actual options here um, and they will actually tell you ex what options are available to this video file same thing with the DVD section here um, you, you have the ability to you know say oh I want a different you know template you know you know different parameters you know you know same thing in this setting section this just goes more in detail this is just an overall view that's why I really like this application because of its simplicity to you know just tell me drag and drop the video change the title change the title here if I wanted to of course you know create or actually add a subtitle or um, import a subtitle I have those functions here when I hover over any of these options it gives me a, a pop-up 
hint option that just pretty much tells me what the current settings are for as well as what are they current set to and once we're ready and we have all our parameters together we're just going to go ahead and click the convert button and the convert will go ahead and process our video and you know get it ready for um, a home based DVD um, viewing um, and pretty much that's the overview of the application. Um, if you guys are interested in getting into some advance or some further details, um, feel free to email me at reggie at reginaldjennings.com and I'll be more than happy to walk you through some things or you know just create an advanced um, options and some of the different things that I, I use this program for. Um, other than that, thank you for watching my video and I look forward to working with you guys soon.